Hey what's up guys, Alone here. Uh, in 20 hours the new season is going to be opening and I just want to talk about the placement games. Yeah, the placement games that always place you too low. Everyone thinks, oh my god, what the hell? I was platinum last season, why did I get placed in gold when I won all my placements? This is such bullshit. Well, I'm going to be talking about how the placement games work and how seriously you should really be taking them. And if you feel like you got placed too low, I can explain that as well. So basically the placement games, what they do is they look if you are playing way better now than you did last season if you're, or if you're playing worse. And it's also going to be taking in account like hardcore what SR you were last season, season high and your current SR and mostly your MMR. Now your MMR is the hidden SR basically which has a really weird calculation thing so if you would see it, it wouldn't have a number, it would be like pages and pages of just code. Um, but that is like how the game perceives you as. So for example you could be at 3000 SR, but you lose way more SR when you lose than when you win. And that's because your MMR is probably way lower. Because the game is like, oh you're performing actually really bad on this MMR. So we're not going to give you a lot of M uh, SR when you win because you probably didn't do enough in that game to win it. So uh, if you perform really badly but you still win all your placements, the chances are you're going to be placed fairly low from where you were last season. So for example if you were 3000 SR last season, that's where you ended, and you won all your placements in the new season, but you played really poorly in all of them, you're probably going to be placed in like 2700 or 2600. Uh, if you played really well in all the placements though, and you were 3000 last season and you just lost all of them like you played really well you got like a KD of maybe four so you got 40 eliminations and 10 deaths every single game on an average and your overall accuracy was really high and you used a lot of ultimates you didn't sit on the ultimate the entire game you just performed overall well but you lost all of your games the chances are you're going to be placed higher than if you won all of the games and you played really poorly. So you might get placed at 3000 or 2900 or something. Uh, you getting placed higher than your last season current SR is really unlikely. Uh, there was one season where they kind of did that. I think that was season 2 or 3. And then they realized that was not very smart to do. And then they just made everyone basically get placed lower than their last season. Uh, I'm fairly sure it's almost impossible to get higher, placed higher than last season unless you win all the games and do insanely well. I think it might be possible but very unlikely. So basically how you should be taking your placement games is even if you get trolls on your team and it might be really hard to win the game just really focus on performing well because that's going to be all it takes in consideration like 99% of what it takes in consideration of where you're going to be placed is how you personally perform that's what the placement games are for so even if you lose with a Torbjorn, Sumetra, Sombra on your team and you actually do pretty well for how other people played your character pick on that map on your SR you're going to be placed fairly high so good luck with your placement guys and I hope you get placed fairly well, so good luck with that. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care.